This week, former Vice President Joe Biden unveiled the second part of his four-part Build Back Better economic plan. The $2 trillion proposal focused on climate change. It calls for a boost in clean energy and infrastructure, net zero carbon emissions by 2050, and a carbon pollution-free power sector by 2035. No surprise, the plan was quickly slammed by President Trump. Someone who helped craft the plan, Biden campaign senior policy advisor, Jake Sullivan. He joins us now. Jake, a $2 trillion climate plan, very ambitious, but that is a lot of money. I realize our deficit is currently hitting record highs and people don't seem to care about deficits anymore. But how do you pay for that? $2 trillion? That's a big number. Well, first, let's put this in context. Uh, Donald Trump and the Republican Congress passed a $2 trillion tax cut three years ago that overwhelmingly went to big corporations and to the wealthy. And then this year, they had shoveled hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars in direct corporate bailouts and loans to big corporations. So the idea that we don't have this money to invest in job creation and fighting the climate crisis, Joe Biden thinks that's just wrong. And he will pay for it by actually repealing some of the most egregious elements of those tax cuts, as well as making other tax reforms. The fact is, Stephanie, we actually can't afford not to make these investments because if we don't, millions of people are gonna remain unemployed, the climate crisis is going to get worse, and America's energy bills are just gonna keep skyrocketing, which will hurt working families. So this is a good, sensible investment in the long-term vitality of the American economy. On one hand, you've got Governor Jay Inslee, a climate, uh, a, a, a true, who is truly climate focused. He's praising your climate plan. And at the same time, your plans around reviving manufacturing are gonna draw support from moderates, maybe even Republicans. Is this your way of reaching a very split Democratic Party who people have said you can't all get under one tent? Honestly, this is the unique capability of Joe Biden. I can't think of another candidate who could put out a major infrastructure and climate plan and get the AFL-CIO and the United Auto Workers and the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, as well as the League of Conservation Voters and the Sierra Club and the key environmental groups to all come out and say, this is great. That is a candidate who can not only unite the Democratic Party, but who can draw independents and Republicans as well around a set of solutions that frankly um, are going to drive intense job creation in this country and create more fairness in our tax system. The first part of the Build Back Better plan focuses on reviving U